Welcome back to The Morning Blend. It's considered one of William Shakespeare's best comedies. Much Ado About Nothing is played on stages around the country and around the world. Now you get to see it right here in Vegas. That's right. Here with the details is the director, Michael Lugering. Also with us, Amber Bonasso, who plays Beatrice, and Sam Cordes, who plays Claudio. Good morning to all of you and welcome. Morning. Michael, let's start with you. Can you tell us more about the plot and Shakespeare's famous play? Much Ado About Nothing is one of his comedies, and it's basically a play called about the marriage wars. And we have two couples who fall in love, one of them out of love. They're promising love, promising not to love. And like all Shakespearean comedies, it ends happily ever after in a marriage. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. What's it like taking on one of Shakespeare's comedies? Because I think we think sometimes about Shakespeare's more serious stuff, and, and this is a... Uh... I think the comedies are harder. Really? Yeah, I always get a little worried about directing a Shakespearean comedy, because the comedy has a precise sort of mechanical kind of rhythm yeah. and a lot of timing, and it's physical. Comedy's it, largely physical, so you get yeah. over in King Lear or Romeo and Juliet, and you can really trust the language to carry you and the mm -hmm. actors. You know, you'll Tragedy is easier to perform. Versus the comedy? When wonder, it comes to Shakespeare. I want to say that. It's, it's, I think it's harder for me to do the comedy. <laughs> yeah. But I don't think I'm bad at it. I just think it's harder. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, what about this uh, story? It makes it so timeless that it, it, it carries on through the years and it seems to I still connect. I think he hits on universal themes about how people fall in love and out of love mm -hmm. and promise to love and swear never to love. And it doesn't matter who we are. He just sort of hits universal themes of the human condition that I think will resonate again and again and again. And yeah. th this play is um, a, a complex play because it has a lot of tragic elements. I mean, it's a comedy, believe it or not, but this lady here, Beatrice, actually puts a hit out on this man here. Wow. <laughs> you, you know, yes. So the so love gets ugly. <laughs> yeah. 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 And you play Beatrice Amber. Tell us about your character. Beatrice is a very unique woman. She's one of the strongest female characters that Shakespeare wrote. Uh, very much an independent woman uh, who has had her heart broken and so can see love for what it is. And the, her story revolves around Benedict, who is the man that broke her heart, but ult ultimately the man that she ends up with because they're the perfect pair when it comes to wit and sparring and all of their dialogue is witty and fun and funny and... Um, she ends up, I think, winning at the end of this play. Well, uh, we know Claudio's losing because you have a hit out on you. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> well, he gets the girl in the end. Oh! So. Yes. And, nice. then, and then we become family members. So, That's right. You know, it's, it's, it's the way Shakespeare goes. Very complicated. You kill him and you love him at the same time. Happily, happily <laughs> ever after in a Shakespeare comedy. Right. 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 Now, how a do big dance. How, there's a big number, so dancing, obviously yes. gorgeous costumes. I love that outfit. Yes. And there's actually more music in this play than any of Shakespeare's plays, mm -hmm. I, I think. I'm pretty close. There's mm -hmm. four or five songs in the play. Yeah. So it kind of has a feel of a musical to it, and certainly the way we did it, there's quite a bit of music for a Shakespeare play. Now, how do we get tickets for this? Well, you can go to 702-895-ARTS, uh, A-R-T-S, and that's 2787, and it's at um, the UNLV. There, yeah. The website is nct.unlv.edu. Awesome. And it's at Performing Arts Center uh, on the UNLV campus. And we're playing Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, so come awesome. see us. Well, it's a great opportunity, too, because I think if you're going to experience Shakespeare, it's better to experience it performed yes. than it is to read. At least it was for me. Because reading is <laughs> Even <laughs> for me. Yes. Yeah. And that, that must make it a, a little bit challenging for you as a director. Well, I, I, I think everything's better when you have people in the room reading all the parts than you sitting it at home alive. trying to play them yeah. all. Yes. Yeah. yes. <laughs> and what other shows have you done? Well, the last thing I did was I did a, I directed Seminar. I directed Doubt. So I usually direct one large project at UNLV mm -hmm. every every year, and often a Shakespeare. The last one I did was King Lear. That's been three or four um, years ago. Mm -hmm. and, and, and what's it like as actors, uh, the challenge of being able to take Shakespeare's words and bring it to, to live performance? Well, there's a certain legacy to it. You feel an obligation, a responsibility to the language. Of course. Um, but there's also the freedom, the mm -hmm. idea that they're Shakespeare's words, but they're also our words. And we have to make sense of them for us and for our audience yes. here and now. And they're timeless words. 
they're they're uh, people sometimes say it's difficult to understand Shakespeare. You need the decoder ring. Right, <laughs> right. But but really, when you get into it, when you listen to these words, he's put together poetry that spans time. And no when we get to say those words and make them come alive for you, because we really understand what we're saying, we can help take you along on the journey with us. That's you just so full light of up talking about Shakespeare. I love. <laughs> yes, I love you do. Mm -hmm. I love it. It's incredible. Yes. It's going to be a beautiful production. And again, it's Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Yes. yes. Sunday's and a two o'clock matinee. The that name. Awesome. Mm -hmm. The rest of them are eight o'clock performances in the evening. Very yes. cool. Well, con uh, congratulations on getting another play on the on the stage, and we look forward to seeing it. Yeah. Great. Thanks, Thanks for having us. Thank you. So much. you. Thank Thanks. you. Much Ado About Nothing runs Thursday, Friday, and Saturday at 8 p.m. and at 2 o'clock on Sunday. Catch it at the Nevada Conservatory Theater at UNLV. For tickets, check out the website on your screen.